Hi, this is BM World Review here, back with another video. Today we're taking a look at Bone Shaker and Lava Shark from the Monster Jam series. And I found these two at Dollar Store. Um, okay, so let's start with Bone Shaker's card. So, of course, it says Hot Wheels Monster Trucks right here. Bone Shaker right here. Good artwork right here. My camera just blurred a little bit. Then it has the car. End up, there's not that much since it's a, it doesn't say the other trucks in the series. There's a bunch of legal stuff on the back. So that's mostly it for this packaging. And of course the white Mattel logo. But that's mostly it. Let's take a look at Lava Sharks. Same thing, Hot Wheels, Monster Trucks, Artwork, Lava Shark, Lava Shark, Packaging, Mattel logo, Legal stuff. Mattel logo and I found these at the dollar store because this this line is for dollar store this monster truck line so let's get them unpackaged If anyone got any like tricks that they want to show me for unpackaging these one these kind of trucks, they can. That did not make a satisfying noise. And there goes my trash. Okay. So, we're going to start off with Bone Shaker. Of course, this is one of Hot Wheels' normal, like, cars that they release. They have a regular scale version of this monster truck. But it has black wheels. It says monster truck. Trucks right here, Hot Wheels, red, two axle, two axles, and there's your base. Right there is a um skeleton head, and there's a fl flames. Really big motors right here. That's cool. Another skeleton head on the top. Some exhaust back here in the back. And Hot Wheels logo. That's mostly it. The Hot Wheels logo is kind of the. All these like are is stickers. And it's like plastic. So if you're a diecast collector, you might want to stay away from this. This line. But there's another skull right here in gray. The normal one has silver on it. And I'm going to pull something out for a quick comparison right here. This is like a normal Hobbos car compared to the size. Of these and look like I said it's silver for the thing and then it got like open window oh, hold on does this have open windows hold on no this does not have open windows this is
course it looks a little bit different, but it's the same model. This is also silver on the regular model. Because this is just a dollar store truck, they have to minimize the detail a little bit. But yeah, there he is. And I guess let's move on to Lava Shark. And did I say it's a yellow, orange, kind of Hot Wheels logo right there? Okay, moving on. We put him in the background. We put this guy right here. Okay. So right here, we kind of got an orange, reddish kind of feel right here. Like I said, they're both the stickers. Try and get my camera to zoom in on some details so I can see better. Okay, my camera, there we go. Okay, there's a Hot Wheels logo, a monster truck logo with little rocks and magma eyes. Right there. And then there's rocks and more lava right here. Hot Wheels logo, of course. Black chassis. Same thing on the other side right here. Eyes. Hot Wheels logo. Monster truck. And of course, this is the stickers and it's plastic. And it doesn't have no windows here. And here's the base. Black wheels. I think they both have black wheels. Yeah. They both have black wheels. There's nothing unique about these two things. But we're pulling out a regular monster truck. And this is the... The other, like the actual casting of it. So normally, it would say Hot Wheels right here. See on this truck, it does. And the teeth would be colored in. Oh, the teeth are still there. Teeth still there on there. Okay. Um, this ain't the exact kind of thing but of course there's more detail and stuff you see and it's a little bit smaller this is a good comparison right here this is like the normal scale this is dollar store now I think this is a cool idea for Hot Wheels because it If, like, someone wanted to pick up something for a kid, they can easily just swing by the dollar store and grab four of these monster trucks or two or whatever, then spending $4 for regular. But then again, this is a bad idea for, like, collectors because they're not actual die-cast metal. But they will still look good near your other monster trucks. In your collection. So. And they have pretty good suspension too. So they'd be fun for play and stuff. And that is all. I gotta say about these two trucks. These two trucks are cool. And. BM. World Review. Signing out. See you next time. Subscribe. All that good stuff. BM World Review out. Ding.